people of the canyon, hear and admire my brave words. Today, I challenge the great unknown, our underground river, which is like space, only wetter. My escape capsule will do just that. Escape to the other side of that wall and onward to freedom. Some of you, certainly the perceptive ones, will call me a hero. But what is a hero? Well, I was voted most likely to go all the way in grade eight, so you tell me. A hero is someone willing to make the tough decisions, which is why I've decided Lippy should take my place. <laughs> Stuffing monkeys in a box and throwing them in a river. Boy, that brings me back. about drowning monkeys. Hello, can you go? Well, now you know. The family drives a canoe who's dialed the next stop street drop will tear. Oh, That's a hole There's no escape, lads. Bad luck, so settle in. Yes, Dad. In Crash Canyon. Oh, Scream and yell and have a spasm makes no difference to the castle. Oh, Smash the servant's feet. Any reaction wins a small prize. Make him scream for a medium. Cry for a large. I like smashing an innocent person's feet as much as anyone. But this is hard work. I know. I'm making my own drippings. Mmm. I taste like holiday dinner. Then quit hogging it. You there, dirty boys. Quit indulging your bodily functions and come see my impression of Michael Jackson. Hey, I'm dead. That is all. I will not be fondling my crotch. Liar! Finally, food that isn't sly sweat. Oh, man. I spent all my teas on one of Lippy's caricatures. Here you are, Mayor. No charge. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the fair. I'm happy to report that this year we've kept petting zoo debts to an all-time low. Both petters and petties. Also, just as a little housekeeping, my third term as mayor is almost up. But I'm happy to report I'm going to be running again. So I guess unless any of you would like the job. Man, being mayor would be sweet. Here you are, mayor. So if it's just me again, then I... Wait! Jake Wendell is running for mayor! Hooray for participation! Good for you, Jake! Looks like we have an election coming up! I think it's great that you've taken an interest in politics, son. Next to hairy women, meat on a stick, and another thing you're too young for me to tell you about, democracy is Greece's greatest gift to the world. Yeah, whatever, Dad. I'm just interested in the free stuff. Politics isn't about free stuff! It's about planning meetings, paperwork, Organizing things. Of course, none of that matters if you're campaigning against Shane Andrews. Vote for Shane! That's my name! Kapow! Kapow! Hi! I'm Warren Nemble. I'm Norm Wendell, and if I'm elected president, I promise to make sure short students don't get upper lockers and tall students don't get lower lockers. <coughs> Oh, I get it. You want some sizzle with your statesmanship? How about some broken dancing? <laughs> ah! My groin, my aching groin! I learned two things that day, son. Politics should never be a popularity contest, and it's important to stretch before breaking. 
You can bust more than a move. Breaking? Yes, breaking. Check it. I'm excited about you running for mayor. You know, you're gonna need a campaign manager. I don't know, Mom. I'd be perfect. I used to sell houses, and the only difference between you and an old brownstone is that you have better plumbing. Okay, fine. But I'm writing my own slogans. Ah, my groin again! What's that noise? There's Mama calling me for a bath, but I don't want to go. Soap takes away my dirt tan, and right now, I look tropical. <laughs> Come on, let's hide in there. Ew, it stinks in here, like one of Cousin Vernon's hugs. That may be Mace. Don't sniff me twice. You'll pass out. That's the only way I can get slime butch down at night. Hey, look at that. They're cave drawings. My private tutor at my private school told me about them. <gasps> this girl looks just like you, Roxy. She doesn't look anything like me. First off, I'd never wear that outfit. She does look like you. And I got good eyes. I eat the bugs and eat the carrots. <laughs> you guys make me L. Not O-L, but still L. <laughs> Vote for Jake is no mistake. Hmm, not bad. Yeah, and way better than Vernon's slogan. There's a good motivator. So, Jake, what are your policies? Solar energy rations on cloudy days? No pesticides in the orchard? Stopping Frida from calling her crow tacos meat-free? Nah, no policies. I'm just gonna promise people whatever they want, so I win. What? Jake? Politics isn't just about winning. I know, it's about getting free stuff. But you can't get free stuff unless you win. Oh, I'm disappointed. Obviously, me hurting my groin meant nothing to you. I laughed. What more do you want? You need to learn to respect the power and role of government. So, even though I am your father, I cannot support your campaign. Consider me an independent. You want me to go talk to him? Jake Wendell, and I'm running for mayor. I intend to be honest, hardworking, and responsible. Unless there's some other way I can secure your vote. I've flown over government buildings. I know how these things work. You have my support in exchange for building a modest sculpture celebrating my exploits. It's a deal. Good. Here's the design. Wow. Is that what aliens really look like? Why do you think I became an astronaut? And I'd like to increase smiles in the canyon. It's part of a two-part plan where I also reduce frowns. So can I count on your vote? That was easy. All he wanted was a bribe. No, he said bride, not bribe. Ah, eh, he wouldn't know what to do with either one. Hi, my name is Sarah Forbes, and I'm here to secure your vote. Who cares? This place is like hell without any of the interesting people. Okay, the weather's mostly nice, though. Oh, great, it's dumber. Listen, Brack, save your yapping. There's no way I'd vote for you. You sold me face cream and it turned out just to be pollen. That happened in the past when Sarah was mayor. Jake's here representing the future. A brighter future. I don't like brightness. It bothers my cataracts. Okay, but when I'm mayor, there's gonna be... Free dental care for bears! I could use that. Bear's breath smells like he ate meatloaf recovered from an autopsy. Uh. Oh, my elbow, you floss. Okay, you got my vote. Now both of you get the hell away from me! <laughs> oh! Why does everything hurt my groin? Are you okay? I hope you are. I like it when everything's okay. Okay's the best! My groin is the least of your worries. You need help, and I'm here to give it to you. Okay. I think we can get Hiko by offering him some new chopsticks. Vernon accidentally broke his old ones. Accident! 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 I believe this is yours. I found it stuck in my candidate's lawn. It did a nice job aerating the soil, though, so thanks for that. You're a candidate? What does that mean? It means I'm Sarah's new campaign manager. Jake's cheap pandering was threatening the election process, and I had to get involved to stop it. What? Dad, I'm your son. 
Sarah's just a lady that knows I'm your son. Sorry, Jake. Someone had to stand up to bring an end to your evil machine. You call everything an evil machine, even electric toothbrushes. The way it stimulates my gums makes me feel like I'm cheating on your mother. Well, I don't know how you're going to sleep at night. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. On the couch. Burn and shovel time! Boy, this is really bad timing. Well, you're back in the wrong horse, Norm. Jake owns this canyon, and on election day, the proof will be in the pudding. Hopefully 180 proof. That's my kind of pudding. Because then I get to eat pudding and get drunk. Oh, oh, we'll see who wins. We're gonna make this about issues, not bribes. That's why Sarah challenges Jake to a debate. Oh, yeah? Well, then Jake challenges Sarah right back. You may want to back up a bit. This shovel's hard to aim, and I've already had a little pudding. Welcome to the mayoral debate with our two candidates, the wise beyond his years, Jake, and the so peppy she on drugs, Sarah. Today, we'll get to hear the candidates' thoughts on the issues. Jake will come second, just like in the voting, and Mayor Sarah will be first. Sarah, <clears throat> if you were getting hit in the face with a brick, would you try and stop that? Um, yes. So you're saying change is good, maybe even necessary to survive. Uh, of course. Jake, how do you propose to ensure the river doesn't overflow during the rainy season? Uh, I, I would have, uh, I, there's a rainy season? Sarah, as a teacher, you encourage children to share. Isn't that socialism? Yeah. Jake, how many people live in the canyon? Do you even know? Lots, I think. Speaking of people, Sarah. None of us has been rescued since you've been mayor. Would you say that's the biggest of your many, many failures? No! It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, mister. You need to grow some cojones. So, if I vote for Joe, I never have to wash my hands before cooking again? This is why I left Mexico. To find a country with corrupt politicians. Don't worry. Mandibles don't accept bribes. We make them. Right, vote! 10, 11, 12. I have the results! It's a tie! And since a tie goes to the incumbent, whatever that English word means, Sarah is still the mayor! Yay! I'm me again! Yes! Sanity rules! <laughs> what? We're rioting, right? <gasps> it's not over yet. There's still a tiebreaker. One person hasn't voted yet. No, he voted for Sarah. It was someone even dumber. Staring doesn't help. I know, because I tried it for the first two hours. I can't believe you got us a field trip so we could see the drawings. With Sarah busy, we have a substitute. I just asked him and he didn't say no. Wow, it really does look like you. Princess Roxy. That sounds nice. Yeah, I guess. I am pretty beautiful. Hey, look over here! I found more pictures of Roxy! Ooh. What's wrong? You thought I was gorgeous, remember? We both did! Yeah, but that was before. But I don't have a tail! You can't believe a drawing! At least not the bad stuff. Sorry, mates, but I don't vote. Why bother when the Queen always wins? Look, not everyone has to vote. We had a 98% turnout. That's good. Saddam, Iraq, good. Sid, maybe there's something I could do to change your mind. With whose? Whose do you want? Okay, if it'll make you lot happy, I'll take a vote. I choose you. That's a rock. It is? Oh, I was sure it was a donkey butler. Now I guess I don't have one of those. You will if I'm mayor. Right, in that case, I choose you. Yes! I win! Welcome, friends. Gorge yourselves at the trough of victory. And, of course, also at the other troughs. Oh, why did I ever use utensils? So many years of my life wasted. Well, we did it, Mom. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm a real kingmaker, like Carl Rove or someone that works at a factory that makes chess sets. What's this? The bill. For the food, drinks, and the stuff in the trough. It doesn't fall into those other two categories. But I'm the mayor now. I get stuff for free, just like Sarah did. I don't give nothing for free. 
Although I met a guy at a bus station once who might disagree with that. <laughs> Fine. I'll settle up right after I get my first paycheck. Paycheck? The mayor works for free. Free? But only idiots and volunteer idiots work for free. The mayor doesn't get anything? Not even a salary? You get to live up to your promise of a donkey butler. And I need him. I have shirts to be ironed. And you all need chopsticks. It is most difficult eating without them. And you promised me a marble alien. Which, by the way, I now want to have three boobs. Why three? I work hard and I play hard. <laughs> Jake Wendell, if I catch you faking your own death again, no dessert for a week. But I have to. Being dead is an easy way to get out of this crappy mayor job. And with Roxy busy, there's no one around that wants to assassinate me. <sighs> this is partly my fault. I was too good of a campaign manager. Okay, I know just the person to get you out of this. <laughs> Hang on! I'm gonna get you out of this! <laughs> Did you come here to gloat? Because if you did, I'm not interested. No one likes a gloater, gloating or being gloated at. We are not here to gloat. We're here because Jake doesn't want to be mayor anymore. Aha! Uh -huh. You finally realized the awesome responsibility of politics and felt bad about the way you won. You can't handle the guilt. You're gloating, dear. Damn right. And it feels awesome. I wanted free stuff and now there is none. I was misled. I'd sue if I thought there was any money in it. All right, I'll help you. But I'm not just doing it for you or for democracy. I'm also doing it for Sarah. She deserves to be mayor and would be if you two hadn't bribed everyone. Yeah, we did do a pretty good job. Hey, tail girl! I heard you got fleas! <laughs> hey, are we too close behind you? We'd hate to be tailgating. Do you even understand that one? No, Pristine told it to us. <laughs> The best part about democracy is that you're only in office if you're popular. So all you have to do is make yourself unpopular. The good news is, thanks to your dad, unpopularity is already in your genes. That's right. So let's go do what Wendell's have been doing for five generations. Make people dislike you. Hey, Mrs. Manderbilt, just because you can afford to eat everything on the menu doesn't mean you should. I could stand to lose a few pounds, and I don't think I would have recognized it if it wasn't for your harshness. Thank you, Mayor. Bjorn, what's the difference between you and a rock? A rock is more fun at parties. <laughs> Bravo. Go to plan B. It never fails. I don't believe this! Why couldn't you've all gone to my high school? It's hopeless. These idiots like me no matter what I do. Look! That's right, Mayor. You are number one. <sighs> I know. I always find it hard to like people, too. Hating is easy. Here's your food, and I didn't wash my hands just like you promised, huh? So, where do I pick up my donkey butler? Or does he pick me up? I'm kind of new to this. I've only worked with burrows before. Speaking of promises, when's this forest ape get his teeth cleaned? His breath could make a skunk puke. Dad, what do I do? This is what I was telling you about. Responsibility. You're accountable for what you said. Listen up, everyone. I have to tell you guys something. Mom, Dad, can you please help me? There's a rumor going around that I have a tail. <gasps> well, what I wanted to tell you is this. My sister has a tail. I knew you did. Pictures don't lie. Mom, Dad, do something. I will. It's true. Roxy has a tail. She's had it forever. In her ultrasound, we thought she was being attacked by a snake. And she's not alone. Jake has one, too. An even bigger one. <gasps> We have a mutant daughter, but at least we have the good sense to keep it quiet. This might be acceptable if Jake was an alien, which he certainly isn't. But now, I say we impeach him! Impeach! 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 impeach, impeach I say. So you're kicking me out? 
And I don't owe you anything I promised? Like I'd want your filthy paws near my statue, you damn dirty ape. No offense. <laughs> I move to put Sarah back in as mayor. Any seconders? Yes! yes. <laughs> I accept! How could you do this to me? You sold me out! I don't have a tail! Sorry, Roxy, but when family and politics mix, sometimes you need a scapegoat. And this time, you were Billy Carter, or Roger Clinton, whichever is more appropriate. Huh. Sorry I'm late. I was busy sanding teeth marks out of dummy. Stupid beavers! Now, I am here to collect the bride I was promised. Where is it? Right here. But full disclosure, she has a tail. That's right, I do. A big one, long and hairy. It's gross. I am sorry, Miss Roxy, but our marriage is now unarranged. Ooh. A tail, Roxy? How did this whole thing start? I don't know. And I guess I never will.